What's going on, everyone? Badger here. Make sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Uh, so Kang, we just we can't quit him. We can't get rid of him. Uh, look, I I've been very open even before any of Jonathan Major's personal life came into it. Wasn't a fan of Kang. Wasn't a fan of his adaptation. Any of them. Any of the plethora of Kangs. Just not a fan. Also not a fan of Jonathan Major's acting style. Again, before I heard any of his real life allegations. That being said. We heard, at first we heard, that's it, Kang's done, they're not even going to uh, call Avengers 5 uh, the Kang Dynasty. Then that actually, we found out that that had nothing to do with Jonathan Major's personal life or moving away from Kang. That had to do with the fact that Quantumania sucked, lost money, and so they replaced, of course, Jeff Loveness, who wrote Quantumania and who was going to be doing uh, Avengers 5, replaced him with Michael Waldron from Loki. So... Now, again, so we thought they were moving away from Kang because of the Jonathan Major, uh, Major situation. Turns out they're just moving away because he sucked in his appearance in Mania. But Kang is still going to be a part of the MCU, which is why we keep hearing uh, acting rumors or you know people that are auditioning for it. Personally, I think every black actor right now in this age range uh, has already... If they haven't been in the MCU, they are auditioning for Kang because it seems like he's still going to be a big part of the future. So here we got Tenet and the creator star John David Washington has long been a fan favorite choice, uh, has he, to take over the MCU's Kang the Conqueror from Jonathan Majors. I, I'm one of the people that was like, cast Terrence Howard as Kangs, you fucking cowards. You screwed him over in the first one because you didn't want to pay him, and then you replaced him with, uh, his, uh, you know, Cheadle. Come on, do Terrence Howard. But uh, no. Here we have, uh, basically, Denzel's son. Uh, I have not seen him in The Creator. I know Mr. Tech Rat has, and I'm sure some of you in the comments have. Let me let me know how he was in The Creator. I, I watched Tenet, and uh, plot of Tenet aside, I was not a fan of his character. He's just very dry. He does not have the uh, personality or charisma that his father does, for sure. For sure. Uh Marvel Studios, comicbookmovie.com. Marvel Studios still finds itself dealing with a major, no pun intended, predicament. Last month, Jonathan Majors was found guilty on one count of intentional assault in the third degree and aggravated harassment in the second degree by a New York jury, and his time as King the Conqueror ended shortly thereafter. On the one hand, the problem can be solved with a simple recast. The issue is, as great as Majors was in Luke, Loki, the Conqueror's defeat in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, has seen many fans write Kang off as a serious threat, an issue when he's meant to be the multiverse saga's big bad. And yes, we've said that, that they ruined his appearance from the very beginning by, you know, playing He Who Remains as a sort of a clowny woo -woo 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 character. Just no threat there. And then every other time he's been shown, he's been defeated. So it's just, it's just, it's not a Thanos-level threat like they wanted him to be. Some believe Loki season two offered Marvel Studios an out, but the series was shot before Major's legal battle, uh, excuse me, legal uh, issues, and the ending explicitly mentioned that a Kang variant had been dealt with in the quantum realm, confirming the villains' variants are still out there. There has been chatter about Doctor Doom replacing Kang, and with all those variants in one place, it would be easy enough for a new baddie to wipe them out in one go. Yes, and that is what a lot of people are saying, that they should just have Doctor Doom come in and wipe out all the Kang variants. Despite that, we're hearing Marvel Studios remains committed to Kang being the saga's lead antagonist, even if he's now likely being put on the back burner before Avengers the Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars rolls around. And then, of course, we did a story about how uh, Fear the Walking Dead star Coleman Domingo was recently rumored to take over as Kang. But here we have Daniel Reitman claiming that Tenet star John David Washington is also a possible contender. We don't have any additional details beyond that. And a final de uh, decision, rather, isn't expected to be made until later this year. And, uh, you know, a bit of a correction if you're still here. I, I kept saying that uh, Fantastic Four is going to be their first movie after the uh, Secret Wars reboot. I was way off. Fantastic Four is coming right after uh, Captain America Brave New World. Captain America 4, whatever the hell they're going to do. So, I, no idea what they would introduce Fantastic Four just to be rebooted. I guess they want them for Secret Wars, but uh, yeah, no. A lot of the problems I thought they were going to be able to fix with the reboot that could be... Anyway, that's it there's not fixing anything until we get to secret wars and that's a long way off. So fantastic four 
that casting announcement is going to be real soon. And it is the next movie after Captain America 4 next year. So let me know what you think of this. Do you care about Kang? Do you want Terrence Howard like me? Do you want uh, John Washington? John Washington. Don, John David Washington. Who? Who? Who do you want? And what do you want him to play? Let me know. Like, share, sub. If you've done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. We will see you on the next one.